Hello, welcome to Plus One. For the tip of the week this week, we're going to go over some speed bag fundamentals. The speed bag is a great tool and it's a lot of fun. Usually people just kind of do a one-dimensional work on the speed bag. So I want to show you that there's a few other basic things we can work on. And maybe in future tips, we'll go over some more advanced combinations and things you can do too. It's actually a lot of fun to work the speed bag. First, on your speed bag, there's different sizes of bags that you can choose. The thicker the bag, the slower it's going to be. So when you first start out, you might want to try getting a thicker, bigger bag and then move to some of the smaller bags as you get better at working the speed bag. When you hit the speed bag, very often you'll see people hitting it with this part of their hand. I don't like that. It's, it's, it's good on TV. You know, and it, it looks good, but when we, when we strike, you're actually striking more with the knuckles. So I think it's more important to develop a skill where you're hitting the speed bag the way you're actually going to be working when you're working with partners in class or in a sparring environment. First drill that I like to show people is just hitting the bag back and forth to where it bounces off five times. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five. If you need to, you can make it go seven times, but five is usually pretty sufficient when you're first starting out. Just something like that. Kind of count it going five times. As a little tip, it's much easier to work the speed bag off of sound than it is off of sight. So just a little tip on that. When you're striking it, just kind of make sure that you're using more of a straight punch. The tendency is going to be to try and come down on it. When you do so, you're going to find that eventually you'll actually hit the roof of the speed bag and that actually really hurts. So try to go just straight. So as you're going straight, once you get five, you can work toward the three. one time. In order to practice for that, a good way to practice is just to hit it softly, just like that. So that it's not hitting the roof, but you're just going back and forth. And what you're going to do is you're going to interrupt your three rhythm with kind of a, a singular rhythm. So it's going to go tataka, 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 you've got the three, tataka, 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 and then it's going to go taka, tataka, tataka, taka, tataka, tataka, taka. You're going to change the rhythm on that. So it's one, two, three. speed drag drills that you can do and it's actually a really useful tool. So I hope we get to see you on the mat soon and uh, if nothing else I hope we see you in front of the speed bag.